and then you want to have the back and forth. So uh, I always tell people the best slides, and it's kind of too late if people don't have, don't have their slides ready yet, but is the best slides are the ones that the audience says, could you go back to this slide? I want to talk about this slide. So when you talk to the slide, that's actually appropriate. So bring everyone up to speed. It's up to you to hopefully keep things going. Sometimes you'll see a discussion going back and forth, around and around and around. You can say, okay, let's move on. It's, it's okay for you guys to tell the presenters to say, hey, we don't have much time. Move to the next top or move to the next topic, and ah, here we go. Perfect. Can you make sure uh, shared notes? Select the shared notes. I got to go through every um, one. I don't want the chat. Okay, so we have a matrix chat. When by default you see a matrix chat, the chat will. I see a chat here. So by the way, the way this works. They're hooked to the screens. They hooked to BBB. That's why I had no control over what's up here. They're hooked to BBB. The laptop up here is just a laptop for you to use. If a person wants to use their own lap, perfectly fine. Let them log into BBB. Hopefully beforehand, I'm going to try to start emailing people, and maybe I'll even email the speakers a remind, or reminder. Um, if you want to use your laptop, if it's easier to, to do a demo, a uh, screen share, whatever you want to do, you want to use your laptop, you have to log in, you could come up and use your laptop. The one thing is, how many people here have logged into BBB? Okay, great, everyone knows it. When you log into BBB, you see that microphone and the headset. And you pick microphone to, to talk if you want to participate, the headset if you want to hear. When you're in the room, you close that window. You don't pick either. That way, when you look here, let's see if you can see here. Um, ah, it's off. You can't see, ah, here. I hope you, you saw, you, I'll come over there on that side. But see this little circle, it's blank. This is my laptop. That's my laptop. It's blank circle. That means, oops. That means I uh, <laughs> tripped over the camera. No, that means that I didn't log in. That's exactly every laptop that's used in the room. Don't log in. Other, if you log in, you're going to have a feedback. You don't want any feedback loop. The laptop is there for display only. No sound. Uh, if someone wants to use it, perfectly fine. They can stream. Um, sh there's, like I said, the little share icon with their presenter. Share it. So uh, help them out. We'll have a shepherd. Uh, one of the program committees should be in, hopefully, in every room to help, help out if there's an issue. Uh, just keep things moving along. And most important thing at the end, you may exit your, okay, so if you have that little square, you are have as much power to BBB as we do. And, you know, the whole Spider-Man thing, you know, with, with a great power comes great responsibility. And when you click on the three dots to exit, there's going to be leave meeting, and below, and this is the important part, there's a big red kick everyone off. It shuts down the session completely. AV has to reset if you do that. It basically kills the recording. Your share notes are lost. And all presentations. Yeah, and all presentations are easy. You have to upload all the presentations again. Don't hit that button. We will hit it at the end of the day. Oh, the share notes. I, this is why I'm asking people to have shared notes. That's, have, have, people could log in and could go and please encourage people to take notes. I, okay, so past years I like to have write-ups. Sometimes we don't get people to do write-ups. It's hard, but at least a blog. I want you guys at the end to have a blog on your microconference uh, to advertise it. Think of it this way. I like to say that Linux Plumbers is the most technical uh, what's the word I want to do? Productive conference there is, period. Why? Because of the microconferences. The microconferences get work done. I want to advertise that. I want people to know. I want next year that people know what a microconference is. You don't have to keep, I don't have to keep having these trainings to tell people this is how you need to run your microconference. I want people to understand. I come here, I'm going to show people a problem, I'm going to get my work done. And then, you know what, you know what makes me so excited? It's when I see a patch go to the mailing list that says, from our discussion that plumbers from last year, this is the change that's going into uh, Linux. That is the goal of microconferences. So that's about it. Anyone have questions? <laughs> it's big and red. Uh, uh, <laughs> they would be upset at me. Uh, actually, I'm wondering if they could see the screen. Um, I, I'm going to have you guys do this, maybe. Oh wait, um, yeah, have you do this? Real? I'm going to just show the menu. Just show the menu. Click on the three buttons up there. Don't. 
the color and change the thing we figured that's pretty much you know saying you know kick everyone off is a good way of telling everyone don't touch this <laughs> because that's exactly what it does well that's another we haven't figured out how to change it okay. <laughs> but this is all open source software but it's kind of kludgy and very very believe it this is not easy to, and it's improved tremendously over the years believe it or not but it still has a lot more to go. Yes, they should be separate. But any other questions? Yeah, how do we handle interaction with the uh, on audience? Oh, very good point. So online audience, um, see the windows here up there? What you do is you tell people who are online, if they want to talk or if they want to say anything, tell them to turn on their uh, camera. They will pop up just like that. And when you see someone pop up, you can turn around and say, oh, then they'll see it on the here, like, oh, someone popped up. Encourage them to, when they want to have a question, you could raise a hand, but the raise hand pops up and may or may not, like the, uh, the presenter might see it. Uh, if they're shy, they could do raise their hand. But pop up the window, encourage people who are remote. If you want to interact, turn on your thing. Um, they turn on their mic, have to log in with the mic. They have to have their sound on, obviously, and to, for interactions. But yeah, that's a very, very good point. Um, again, try to talk to people, maybe up front. Ask if, any, ask if any of your runners want to do live streaming, or I, just someone just asked me, um, I need to uh, share a tab. I have some web browsing thing I want to show. I said you could do that. If you click on the shared, it'll say pick Chrome tab. They could do it on this laptop. They could use their own. Like I said, this, this laptop, I could unplug. It's not hooked to anything. And I could go through and, um, oh, now that I have the slides open, I forgot to, you know. <laughs> you know so here's this. And then you do the anti the harassment. And by the way, when you're on break, go to the break one. And when you're all done and you're finished, go back to the break. And then we can switch back to, we'll probably put it back to sponsors. But this will let people that come in, because the, the join button will always be there. People could join early. But, you know, if someone joins and, you know, they just see a thing, like, what's going on? If you put on we're on break, it kind of lets the people that are remote know, okay, the, the thing's on a break and we'll come back when we're ready. Steve. Yes. This year, do we have the catch boxes with the camera following? We, yes. Okay. Here's another thing. Thank you. Good, good, good uh, question here. Um, we have the catch box. I'm sure there's here. Yep, yep. Now, so when I walk over here, well, yeah, I can throw it. Good catch. <laughs> it's not on yet. Oh, oh not, 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 not a question, more of a comment. Uh, <laughs> By the way, also I come over here, and one thing is if, you're, if the person is, and you'll notice it follows the camera, and if you're not talking, no, nope. No, it didn't. It's not following. Uh-oh. Is the camera set to follow? Hello? Oops. Oh, is it following now or no? It's not following. Nope. Oh, maybe. Oh, is it there now? Is that the one in the back? Yeah. It's following me now? Yeah, now it is. Okay. Oh. Yes. Maybe because I just go too fast. Um, so the one thing is, if you're done talking or whatever, and someone's just sitting there like this, um, we've been told that the pe remote people get seasick. <laughs> <laughs> so put it down or something like that. Thank you for moving. Okay, any other questions? Yes. Oh, so um, when you remember when you or when you log in, you get that mic and headset thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a little X at the top. Uh, Click uh, that; it just closes the window. Uh, yeah, it'll pop up. Just close it. Oh, okay. Thanks. Yeah, that's all you have to do. So when you log in and uh, tell people who could use your laptop, close the microphone. Don't select either one. Okay. And if you do, you can always go and hit exit audio. Okay. If you do it by accident. Any other questions? In that case. Thank you very much and enjoy the conference.